we finish the back of our canvas. We have attached the wire and maybe we put some artist tape on. Um, so now we're going on to the front of the canvas. Um, now I always varnish my canvases. Some people don't feel it's necessary. You can get a glaze and put a glaze over. It's really just to seal it. Um, now the reasons why I do varnish is mainly for protection. Uh, protection from the sun and the UV rays and fading. Protection from dirt and dust. Uh, it's much easier to flick a duster over a sealed canvas um, than it would be if it wasn't sealed. Um, also, I love the way it makes the canvas look. It gives it another layer and more depth. So that's my opinion anyhow. Now varnishes. What sort of varnishes are there? There's a lot out there on the market. Um, for a beginner, I would probably recommend a spray varnish. Um, you just spray it, put the canvas flat down on the ground and you spray it evenly over the canvas, let it dry and then come back maybe in 24 hours and give it another coat. Make sure that you're in a very airy place because it can be a bit fumy. I do uh, prefer to apply my varnish with a brush though. Um, I find it just gives better coverage. The varnish that I use is Liquitex gloss mainly. Um, with There's a gloss, a satin and a matte. Now the gloss is the varnish in its purest form, it hasn't got anything added to it. Um, the manufacturers add um, a matting agent to make it less shiny so the more of that they add you end up with the matte is very flat and then the satin has just got a soft glow on it um, and then of course you've got the gloss which is very shiny. Um, that's all just up to you which you prefer. Make sure if you use a matte or a satin that you shake the bottle thoroughly before applying uh, otherwise you can get an uneven coverage that keeps the uh, matting agent even through. Now different canvases I think look better with a different varnish. Most of my intuitive art with all the bright paint um, I like a gloss finish it just seems to suit the bright colours. But with my animal voices, I did use a satin. I just felt that um, it worked better. They didn't need to be shiny. So that's all very much up to you. Just have to work out what sort of finish you prefer. So what brand? I have tried lots of brands and I found some of them have come up a little bit unevenly, which I haven't been that happy with. The one that I found is consistently good is Liquitex and as I said it's in the gloss um, and I've got it in the satin as well. So I'm going to show you how to apply that to my canvas now. So I'll see you back in a minute. Okay now we're ready to varnish. You've um, seen all the other ways I have got my canvas to this stage to finish it off. Now I've got a nice soft synthetic brush. Try not to have a brush that's going to leave any hairs in your work. Um, if you do get a hair, just try to pick it out really quickly. And I have got my Liquitex gloss varnish, which I have given a shake already. I've let it settle a little bit. Now I'm going to squeeze it into my little container. Would help if I'd actually taken off the... It's a brand new bottle. <laughs> Squeeze it into here, a bit of it, the first coat, and just don't go too heavy, try to keep a fairly light hand with it, um, and then we come and we're applying it in this cross, this cross, like this. I like to go across the bottom. You wouldn't need to normally be moving your canvas, I'm just moving it for the camera. But coming back and forth, 
So it's a bit of a crisscross, making sure you're getting it into the holes in the canvas. Coming back. It's always good to be where you've got light that you can see from the side. You can see where you've been. And you can see I'm coming back slightly into that edge. Try not to backtrack. There. Just looking, you can see where I've been. work too quickly but certainly in a brisk fashion. Especially if it's more warm weather. So, so I'm looking in one direction and then coming back up the other way so that you're getting a you're not getting just one way like lines going in one direction. If you've got textured paintings, it just takes a little bit of extra work to get into the texture. Some of my other paintings are quite textured. This one's not too bad. So I'm just sort of checking to see that I've got most of my canvas. has got the varnish on, or all of my canvas. Now I'm coming along around my edges, just lightly catching those drips that they're usually is. Just going to go off the camera for a minute just to catch those drips. Turn them back. to make sure that there's no pesky little drips that have happened after you've gone around. And that's my first coat done. Um, I would leave that for 24 hours to dry. There'll be a little bit of unevenness in this coat. So tomorrow I'll come back and do exactly the same thing. And once that's dried, I should have a lovely even coverage. So that's varnishing. So go ahead and give it a go. See you later. Bye. And here is the Liquitex. See up a bit closer to see the label. So that's the one I've used. Thanks. Bye.